This uh, video shows uh, how to georeference a map image. Um, georeferencing is a method to import um, external geodata or map data into your GIS project. Um, sources of map images could be uh, printed uh, reports on paper where you can find maps of, of different kinds. And um, uh, of course, if you would like to have a printed map, so to speak, into your e RTIS project, the first thing you would have to do is to scan it to get it into a digital format. And then you need to georeference it. You, you need to give it uh, coordinates in some coordinate system uh, inside uh, ArcGIS. Another source of map images is, of course, uh, web pages on the Internet. Uh, these uh, map images is already in digital format. So in this example, we are going to use uh, a satellite image of Sri Lanka. Uh, we have a link here. We will just click it. And um, yeah. Here we have a web, web page with several images. This is one image of a map, actually, but this is not a satellite image. Um, the image I would like to use in this example is this one. This is a satellite image. Um, and to get this year referenced inside your RTS project, the first thing you have to do is to download it and save it, save the image in, in your workspace. So just right click on it, right click with the mouse, and you should find some, some sort of, of uh, command to have it downloaded or saved on your com computer. For example here, save picture as. We'll do just that. Uh, so I will find my workspace. In this computer, in this case, um, here, and I leave the suggested name as it is, and in the satellite images in JPEG format that will also be fine. Just click OK. Um, so, if we have a look in Windows Explorer, we can now see that. We have the satellite image of Sri Lanka.jpg, a JPEG file, an image file here in our workspace. So now we go to ArcMap. And here we have in our catalog window, you should find your uh, sat satellite image or, or map image that you have downloaded. It's in my case, it's here. Um, uh, but, uh, however, we should start with the background map or the reference map. We should start with a map that has the reference system defined and also has, is, is, has a geocode, so to speak. It has already coordinates in the world. And in this case, we are going to use an um, map data set from an um, um, uh, exercise on tiger reserves and here we can find the tigers uh, database where we have several things and we can find a world map here we just drag it into the table of contents in a black blank um, arc map document like this and now we could actually add the satellite image that we just downloaded from the web page. Is this one like this? And uh, we also need the georeferencing toolbar. If you right click in the gray area in the ArcMap top window region here. We can see a list of all available toolbars. And here we can find the georeferencing toolbar. Just click there and it will 
we will have the toolbar here. Now, um, we in the middle of the toolbar here, we have a list of available images that we can view reference. In this case, we only have one to choose to, to choose from, and it is already chosen for you, like this. So the first thing we now begin with is zoom in on Sri Lanka in the world map. So Sri Lanka would be somewhere here. This is Sri Lanka. Having, having a good view of the area where the satellite image or the map image should be is a very good start because then you can use the year referencing menu on the toolbar and just choose fit to display like this. So now you can actually see the satellite image and the world map. In, this, in, in the same view. It's a, it's a very good start. Next thing you see here, that it's going to be kind of hard to work with this dataset having it displayed like filled polygons, the world map I'm speaking of. So this should be changed. Just click the um, symbol, uh, for, for format symbol on the world map here and choose fill color, no color. And the outline width should be a little bit bigger. In my case, I choose one and a half. And for color, you should choose a color that you can actually see. Uh, I choose red. Click OK. Now it's much easier to work now that you can actually see both the satellite image and the borders of the world map. Um, to, 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 now we can actually start here referencing the satellite image. And to do that, you add so called uh, control points. You can uh, click the button, add control points here on the, the right of the geo referencing toolbar. And you can actually now start adding control points. The control point is is chosen by first clicking on on a place on the un-geo-referenced Im image and then connect it to, to a, a, a location on the geo-referenced uh, ex, ex, existing map, so to speak. I will start in this end of the satellite image. You can shift tools like this, no problem. You should zoom in pro properly so you actually see what you are doing. I will start with this uh, pointy shaped land area here that you could see in both maps. And I start with the ungear referenced map image here. And I could still shift tools like this and I will zoom in a little. And the other end would be chosen here. So now it already start looking a little bit better. It automatically um, adjusts the satellite image as you are choosing control points. Now, the control points should be chosen evenly around the area here that you would like to, would like to hear referenced. So we shift to the other side of the island. I will choose a control point here, choose a feature here. Again, begin with the unreal reference satellite image here and we go to the existing map and we will choose a point here. So after two points it already starts looking quite nice like this and I will continue choosing points down here you can see a pointy feature of the shoreline also. I could hide the world, point, world map like this and I could bring it back like this. In this case you should, it could be fine with the uh, five or six points and, and that would be kind of a minimum number of points. The next point I will choose is up here, should be quite, should be a good point. 
this one to this one. Mm, could also use this island here. We are pretty close here, so. Well, one more point. I will choose also a distinct shape of the shoreline here. Should be something like this. Yeah. So, when you are satisfied with the result, um, and you could have a look around like this and, and, and visually assess, so it's okay. The thing that you do is to, to go to, to the georeferencing menu again and choose update georeferencing. And the control point disappears. It actually fixes, fixes things in your map dataset. <clears throat> so if we go to the to your workspace um, in the Windows Explorer, you can actually see that um, ArcGIS has added two files: one J J G J G, um, J -G W with the actual geocode, the coordinates of the um, satellite image, and also it's added another file here that will that contains the information about the reference system. And in this case, it, um, it is the same reference system as the world map. So, this is the way how you re-reference re re an, an map image.